Hey everybody, um, Jim Sammons here. Uh, thanks for everybody who joined us yesterday. Congratulations to the winner of the uh, Ray Moraine Dragonfly and the hats and everything. And thanks them to them for putting that on. This kind of impromptu thing. I just got something in the mail that I thought I would share with you because it was something that um, a buddy of mine here on Facebook, uh, Lee Alameda, uh, he showed on a video that he was using and hey James how are you um, but he showed that he was using and it was something that really intrigued me and so he offered to send me some and so I'm gonna check it out hey Martin um, I love big game fishing um, a lot of live bait fishing uh, the problem with um, live bait sometimes when you're using like a big old circle hook like this, uh, circle hooks have a tendency of twisting in the head of the bait and getting stuck in the side of their head and then your bait will spin on you. So, you know, obviously with the limited amount of baits you can carry in a kayak, you want your, your bait to live on the hook as long as possible. Of course, having good hook exposure is always really important. Um, I broke out an old Sabeel um, soft swimmer. So whether you're going sideways through the nose and that gets caught in the side of their head or you're going under the, uh, the back here and going across this way, uh, they live very well. But it's still sometimes you have to have a really large hook to get any kind of hook exposure when you're going across the back. So what we do sometimes with, with the bigger baits is we bridle. And to do any kind of bridling, you need a uh, bridling needle uh, and floss and all that goes involved with that. Uh, so the item that Lee was using and that uh, he was kind of to send to me is these uh, live bait. Oh, I guess I had it upside down there. Um, live bait. It's Basically, it's a zip tie. Um, and I have not even broken these out. I have not used one yet. So you're going to see me try to use it for the first time. Uh, it's a zip tie that has, you know, so your, your standard old zip tie sort of, and then it has a built in bridling needle. So it just seems like it's going to be a really easy it's the thing. Like I said, when you bridle a bait, they just live so long and it's a nice secure thing and you have that great hook exposure. So I'm going to have to look at the instruction and exactly how to do this, but I'm going to just do it on this soft plastic and just so you can kind of see what's involved here. Uh, and then I'll experiment with them. Of course, um, once I, uh, actually have a live bait and can do it on the, on the water. Hey, hello to Algeria. <laughs> so uh, when you bridle a bait, basically you go in like just above the eye in kind of in that eye socket, but it doesn't do any damage to the fish. So, Make sure I'm putting that on there properly so it goes around the right way. So anyway, you go through the eye. So I will just push that through there. And per the instructions, go all the way through. So like so. And then you clip off the actual bridling needle. Easy enough. Put the tab through, pull it down, you know, kind of get it in, in the right position. Pull it down, but leave yourself some room to work with. Then you take your hook, and there's, if you kind of see that, um, there's solid plastic here. So you take your hook and go up through it. It's thin, so it says. Let's see if I can do this without stabbing myself. Oh, actually, that was super easy. It went right through. So go through the plastic. And then, of course, I put it on backwards. <laughs> I put it so my hook was going the wrong way. But like I said, you know, first time ever using one of these, I wasn't paying attention. So anyway. So that would go like that. I deal your hook. Your hook would be going the opposite direction. I, I messed that up, but I don't want to burn another one of these on a not real bait. So it's nice and secure, and it kind of gets caught in this. If you can kind of see that, there's a, a, a trough, if you will, a channel 
uh, that the hook kind of gets caught in so it doesn't want to twist from side to side. So that's going to hold that, that hook nice and secure on top of the fish's head. Um, let's uh, show that there. Um, so it, it's from NitaFishing.com. It, it is called the Live Bait Gen 2 Bridal Needle and Zip Tie in One. Um, pretty cool. So basically, like I said, you, you cinch that down. Where did I put my pliers? Oh, right here. And then clip off the extra of the zip tie. And you have a perfectly bridled bait. Um, that's a lot easier than doing the, the floss and having to run it through and then loop it around and twist and twist and twist and go under and twist and twist and go under. Um, very simple, very clean. Um, if you don't put it on backwards, <laughs> but, uh, I, I can't wait to try that on a live bait on a real bait. When I'm, I get out fishing, that is just super slick. Um, Oh wait, there is a, uh, what is this thing? It doesn't, Oh, you need a ballast point. Oh yes. This broadcasts are brought to you by ballast point. <laughs> Hi, Liz. It's not Ballast Point Gin and talk, Tonics anymore. It's um, Cutwater. Uh, they uh, separated from Ballast Point. So Cutwater Gin and Tonic. Um, if you could uh, come to San Diego with Wes, then I will give you all the uh, gin and tonics you want, Liz. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Who else we got here? And so just a couple of comments. Um, but... I said that just came in the mail. It literally just got here and I was super stoked to, to see this. And that's definitely going into my arsenal when I'm using those big baits uh, or even small baits where you need a bigger hook. Um, what program am I using for my live feeds now? This is um, Be Live. Be Live TV. Um, it's, uh, I really like it. It's a, a very user-friendly interface um, doesn't take all I mean it, like if I want to have a guest join me I just send them the link and they can join me it's very easy not a lot of software um, and not not really complicated because I'm not super tech savvy so easy is good for me um, it's relatively inexpensive you know if you're using it a lot it'll definitely be worthwhile and I plan on doing these on a, on a weekly basis with the guests and um, the uh, like I said, that's going to be an every Friday thing with guests. And then, uh, you know, like I said, impromptu stuff like this. I think it, it's just cool to be able to get these titles up there, be able to get the uh, web address. Um, this is they come in. Um, somebody's asking about, uh, you know, what do they retail for? I honestly, I didn't look. <laughs> um, I did look at their website. Honestly, their website is not the best website in the world. Um, so even finding them was kind of difficult. Uh, I think this is a new product for them. So I don't know that it's really integrated into their website really well yet. Um, but it comes in, like I said, this is a pack of 20. So, I mean, I, I think I, I looked at it the other day when I was kind of, I saw it. I'm going to open this. Beer. <laughs> Cheers. I looked at the website the other day, and I think this is off the top of my head. Don't hold me to it. I think it was like eight ninety nine for a package of twenty, and to me, that's pretty reasonable. Of course, they are plastic, so you know, take care of your plastic trash. Don't throw that in the ocean. Um, I don't know. You, it, I don't even know where that thing part went that I just cut off. But the, you know, the bridal needle. I don't know. Maybe you can use it for something else, um, toothpick or something. <laughs> but. Uh, like I said, I mean, if, Nita, NitaFishing.com. I don't know if I still even have, do I still have that on the screen? Uh, no, I don't. But um, do I still have it on the screen? Agenda, show. <laughs> 
said, just trying to get used to this uh, this new interface for me. So, but needafishing.com. Um, like I said they were generous just because I told them I liked them and I wanted to you know, I wanted to try them out. Uh, my buddy uh, Lee um, and he's in Hawaii and, and these were designed in Hawaii. Um, he was, uh, offered to send me a couple packages, which he did, and I. Um, you know, I don't promote stuff I don't believe in. Um, I honestly, I have not had a chance to use it, so I can't give you a testimonial, testimonial as far as that goes. But they sure, um, they sure look impressive um, if you put them on the right direction, <laughs> unlike what I just did. But um, I, I, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna like these. I will definitely have these on my boat and on my kayak. Uh, like I said, you know, sometimes that big bait is just so hard to work with um, and you miss fish because of the, you don't have the hook exposure. So bridling is the way to go. And like I said, for, for bait life, for your bait living a long time, um, you can't beat bridling. So there is, if it'll focus on that, the, the business card that they sent along with. Oh, there's actually, I didn't even notice there was a message on the back. Uh, Lee mentioned that you'd be interested in our products. Please let us know how they work for you. Mahalo. Yeah, that was very cool of them to send those to me to try out. Um, and like I said, as soon as I saw them, I, I liked what I saw. So I wanted to share it with you. It, like I said, I'd never touched them, never taken them out of the package until you just saw me do it. So, um, so yeah, they're, Martin, you're saying they're not on the website. Um, I did find them on the website, like to buy them or something. Um, but then it said they weren't available. So like I said, I think it's a brand new product. They have a lot of other cool rigging things for uh, like rigging dead baits and such, uh, which, you know, I don't do a whole lot of dead bait fishing, so I didn't really focus in on that, but it did look like, look like they had some good stuff. And if you know anything about the Hawaiians, those guys know how to fish. I mean, they, there's a lot of great fishermen there and they do some really interesting rigging. And if I can learn anything from them, I will, I will take it. Uh, Weiss, hey man, good afternoon and congratulations on winning that uh, Dragonfly Fish Finder yesterday. Uh, you're going to be stoked on that for sure. Um, anyway, like I said, that was it. Um, I just wanted to share with you that one new item I just got. And uh, hey, Julian, how are you? And again, uh, cheers to all of you with my Ballast Point Fathom. That's the first beer I've had in over a week. <laughs> I've been so sick. Um, I got so sick after leaving Florida that, uh, man, it wasn't fun. I saw about five minutes of the Super Bowl. The rest of it was in the uh, restroom. So anyway, guys, uh, cheers, Chris. Um, I do hope that you will keep tuning into these live broadcasts. I really want to start doing more of them. Um, again, we'll be doing one this Friday, this coming up Friday, uh, with James Macbeth from Jackson Kayak. And we'll be talking about the new Liska Kayak, the new FD Kayaks, the pedal drives, as well as the Blue Sky Project, which is a uh, kind of a subsidiary of Jackson Kayak. And they've got a really cool new boat coming out that um, I'm really interested in. Uh, Julian, the winner of the fish finder from yesterday was Weiss. He actually just commented here a, a minute ago. Um, Weiss Jans, I, I screw up his name. Weiss Jansky. Well, there we go. I'll put him up on screen. There we go. Uh, Weiss, uh, <laughs> he, he won the, uh, the dragonfly, uh, and we gave away three or four, um, Raymarine hats as well. So, um, yeah, like I said, that was it. I just wanted to share with you guys a cool new product, and um, I uh, I hope uh, you know you'll maybe give them a try if if you're into bridling baits and that, and maybe you want to try them. Um, I will definitely give you guys a report on how I like them, which I actually have a chance to get out and go fishing, and uh, and go do some bait fishing. I'm going to Belize uh, next Saturday, so that'll all be fly fishing. So there won't be any bait fishing on that one. Um, well, at least I hope. Uh, we hope the wind cooperates enough that we can actually fly fish. Uh, Going to be able to try out the new Siegler um, fly reels, which I'm really excited about. I have not had a chance to try the uh, the MF or medium fly. Uh, so we'll be giving that a go and uh, reporting back after that trip on how those did. So um, 
if there's any more little questions here. I think we got them all. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to put this up one more time. So if anybody is interested in those, um, those bridal zip ties, uh, you'll, you'll see where you can, uh, pick those up or see their other rigging products. Um, there was just another question. <sighs> did I try the FD? Yes, I did. Um, I've got a, a Coos FD. I've only had it on the water one time. Um, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not even one to give it a good, I can't even give a good assessment of it at this point because I'll be honest with you, I'm a paddler and the pedaling position for me wasn't super comfortable. Uh, but the pedaling position in any pedal boat has never been really comfortable for me. Um, uh, the pedaling, the situation, I've got a really bad back and I have to be in a specific orientation on a kayak. And that's why I'm excited about the blue sky because you're seated in a totally different position. And I think that's going to work for me as far as a pedaling boat goes. Uh, everybody I know who's been on the Kusa, my, my buddy Jameson loves the Kusa FD. Uh, my cameraman, Will, you know, he's used it. He really liked it. I know a lot of people really like it, um, but for me personally, you know, like I said, just it's not a great fit at this point. Um, and it might have just been me. I only had one day to try it out for a short amount of time. So um, like I said maybe I need to give it more time on the water and see if I can get myself, get it really adjusted so I am comfortable. Um, the Blue Sky is a, a subsidiary of Jackson Kayak. Jackson Kayak is making a different blue sky watercraft and it, it's totally different. It's a, um, it's a catamaran style. Uh, the seat is much higher up. Um, and it's, it's, it really intrigues me. Now I don't know if it'll be an offshore type of thing. I mean, I'd love to take it offshore and, and go fish the kelp beds with it. Cause I mean, being able to stand up and cast for calicos out there would be pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of intriguing about that boat that I'm, I'm pretty uh, excited to see. And it has the FD drive. So it has that same Jackson, um, flex drive. Um, but the seated position to me looks like it's going to be more comfortable for my back. And that's the, the whole thing. It's, it's all about my back. And I just haven't found a pedal boat that I'm really comfortable in. And that's like I said, that's any, um, just the seated position doesn't work for the way my back works. So that blue sky, you're, you're higher, you're pedaling down, your feet are lower. Um, a little, it's, to me, it looks like a more natural pedaling position, if you will. So, um, but like I said, maybe we can learn more about that from uh, James Macbeth uh, next Friday. And that'll be again next Friday, 11 o'clock Pacific time. Uh, we'll have him on and um, talking about all things Jackson Kayak and Orion Cooler. And like I said, if, if he can talk more about the uh, the blue sky thing, uh, we will do that. Um, so anyway, again, um, well, no, I guess that's still up on the screen. Nitka Fishing. Okay, so like I said, if you're interested in those guys' product, uh, check them out. It, it looks intriguing to me. If you have used them or if you get a chance to use them before I do, please let me know. Let me know what you thought because uh, I'm always interested. And if, you, if, you, if you've looked at any of their other rigging stuff, um, you know, again, let us know what you think because uh, I'm always interested in new, new products and um, different ways of rigging. So anyway, again, I, I keep getting caught back into more questions because I, I do like to uh, <laughs> I like to talk about this stuff um, I, so yeah like I said I'm I would be heading out here I you know there may be some more impromptu ones before next Friday um, and we've got kind of lousy weather in here in San Diego the last there's kind of today and the next few days we might have rain so you never know I may just jump on here to give me something to do so anyway I'm going to roll out now. Cheers all. Uh, hope you all have a, a good remainder of the weekend. Take care.